the ships in a month, a single figure is going to tell you whether you were doing well or not. Because with the only thing I need is how many of all the ships handled met the target. And in this case, 83%, because it was 6 out of 7. And now we just give it points, which afterwards will still be weight. Yeah. In That's one example of dealing with all the complexities that otherwise you wouldn't be able to deal with. And if you have a small terminal, no sweat, because in a small terminal, automatically you would have probably more than 0.033s than the 0.008s. In other words, you would be operating that's probably something like 30 moves per <coughs> ship hour rather than, for example, 100 moves per ship hour or even more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would that mean, therefore, if, 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 if that way of calculating this KPI was adopted for the quality indicator, would it then mean that if you were going for the standard, you would have to set that up internally and measure that way so to be ready for the auditor? Dear audience, I mean, uh, what we're talking at the moment, in all fairness to you, I mean, it's happening already. I mean, there's nothing new. That is happening. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. 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 They have these famous meetings, these operational meetings every three months, I think. You might as well have the possibility to attend to things like this. Okay, there, this stuff here is done. I mean, every three months, every terminal in the whole world, I think it's 120 terminals, they do this, Great. I mean, on a quarterly basis. So, what, yeah. Let me finish on that. So, that's what it's absolutely normal. It doesn't give you any idea whether the term is good or not. And I mean it. Yeah, not the only so. point is whether you can improve this famous figure of 30, 120 moves per vessel working hour, like we intend to call it. Now, there are different measurement points to get that thing moving. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea where we have to go to. If you want to have KPIs, I mean, that's I mean, nothing new. So, but get check KPIs, let's see what are the real points that things are not working the way they are. And that's the daily doing, what we are doing every time. I mean, there's a ship coming in, a beautiful modern 9000 TU ship with 3000 moves. And she has cones, semi-automatic, which are not working. And what are going to do? 120 moves an hour? No, you're doing 60. Huh? You get red faced, you call your client, you tell him, hey, yeah. and then he's going to move, correct? So the next meeting, this thing is going to be a red alert. So he's going to change it, spend another $2 million to change on his bloody vessel, this famous cones. And then things are moving again. So the KPI in between the clients is there and is working. So what I'm trying to say is, I mean, we have to look into what for do we need it. I mean, I'm not against the standard. I have no problem with that. And, and let's have a worldwide standards, worldwide KPIs, but let's look into the each and individual need of a client. What does he really want to know? And there I'm following you. Yeah. If the Aldi wants to know from me whether I'm a good terminal or not, it's a completely different answer I'm going to give him. Yeah. As if I'm talking to a mayor, say, Hapak Lloyd, it's going to be the table at the moment. But okay, any other shipping company. Yeah. Because they do want to have a completely different information from you. Right. Yeah. Or the port authority, right. the gentleman sitting close to me, he's <laughs> asking me, different I mean, okay. I, if I may say, I am building the key wall, I, port authority. Now you tell me whether you are doing 1,200 TUs via each lane meter or 2,000 yeah. mm -hmm. 
or two and a half thousand if you don't just hurry up. Mm -hmm. That's what he's telling. Yeah. So it, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, the, yeah. It, what I, I like um, your arguments. Absolutely, I'm following you. Mm -hmm. Is that for each and every client, there's a different answer back on KPIs, and uh, we should really discuss about the difference KPI. What is reasonable to whom? Yeah. Because he yeah, does, he's not interested in absolutely. productivity. I mean, he, he wouldn't even ask him. He said, "Yeah, nice." So he we put it for the press. Yeah. We put the PR yeah. department. What you are telling me about this famous port or whatever? I mean, we have a PR department as well, like you would have. That. I mean, <laughs> that lady. Yeah. 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 I mean, we are giving. We are feeding yeah. Mr. Gosler and myself. We are feeding this PR department with all fancy figures yeah. just to make people uh, mm. somewhere jealous. Maybe the but <laughs> just, just one of these things, and, and yeah. you must be very well aware that our our primary customers, the shipping lines, they all have this also. Yes. They have yeah. their own benchmarking towards us. Mm -hmm. They know very well how they judge us and, and what they can expect from us. Yes. So yeah. it's really the point, who needs what? Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. But, but what okay. to say that but the, the all the elements should be in the standard. It's the diamond, yeah. it's the diamond yeah. point. Yeah. The diamond is, you can, look, you can pick up the diamond and look at it from any perspective and get what you want from it. It's, it's how it embraces all of these pieces. But let's get down to the bottom line. We're all here to make money, right? So let's be straight about this, right? It's a good idea. Because we try to if I could write a check for ten if I could write a check for ten million for everybody now, we'd gratefully retire and say, I like logistics, but not that much, right? But I'm retiring. Okay. So and but so the point is it is all about show me the money, right? Okay, so let's get American about it just for a minute, right? The bottom line about it is this, right? You come to Grimantia Lloyd and it is a shop. It's a shop where you can buy things. It's not like okay. you go into the shop and you say, hello, Mr. Grimantia I'd like to buy CTQI1, which is the standard for measuring productivity, or I'd like to buy CTQI2, which is the standard for measuring how customer connectivity. Which standard would you buy if we only had two for sale? I put it to you, sir, you wouldn't buy the productivity standard because you don't think you're going to learn anything new in it. We're going to show you that and all that stuff, and you're going to go, oh, man, I thought I was going to get something new here. The standard that you want is the standard which tells you what your customer's customer wants. That's what you're after. You're trying to build market share. CTI, CTQI2, which is the connectivity standard, as opposed to CTQI1, which is the productivity standard, is more marketable, more saleable, and is a better bet for Gamantra Lloyd to develop. I promise you. If they go and try and teach you how to suck eggs, right, in CTQI, they'll have a brilliant standard that'll take forever to work out, and everybody will say, but I know it already. Yeah? So it's no good to anybody. There's no market for it, right? So the point is, we're here to develop a product that flies. That's it. I'm not here to develop a product that people go, hmm, I'm here to develop a product that flies. That's my job. You know, so that's, that's all I'm here to do, and not to waste my time on anything else, right? Loads of work to be done. Right? So the bottom line is, we've got to get to it. When we, so, so what I'm suggesting to you is that we need to create, well, all I'm trying to say to you is, I spoke to a guy who ran 14 terminals, and he was part of another group that ran 44 terminals. He said, hmm, very clever guy. He said, you're starting an arms race here. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, if I get the standard, then he has the standard, then he has the standard, then he has the standard, then you all have the standard, now what? Now there was no point in getting the standard in the first place. You started an arms race. I said, but containerized traffic is going to grow 100% in the next 15 years. Whoever's first in, in, right now it's about speed to market. If you can differentiate yourself at this critical juncture in the development of the industry, well then, it'll be what it always was. Coca-Cola's number one. Pepsi-Cola's number two. You can't change it. Coca-Cola are first in. Levi's are number one. Wrangler's number two. You can't change it. There is a natural order to marketing. There's a natural order to be the first on the block. It's been there since we invented the science. The concept is simple. Your customer's customer wants more transparency, right? Let's give them a standard that they are going to use to choose you because you bothered to come to the Hamburg Committee and help us to develop it. And that's, that's the deliverable. Now then after that, I think it's important, as I said to you, that the customer is going to say to me, oh, I see that Eurogate have just got Star Invader 1, the standard. I go, yeah. And he goes, I presume that means they're very productive. It does, actually. And we know they are, right? So we have to prove that to ourselves in the audit. 
If you want to see the detail, I can show it to you. But that's implicit in them getting this. I can show it to you. No, you don't want to see that. What do you mean? Like the lashings? No, I don't want to know that. I just want to know that you know that they're very good on productivity. But what I'm saying is you didn't give them this stamp of approval on, on that only. You gave it because you tell me that terminal cares about me. That terminal cares about me. Right, I've got five terminals to choose. This one cares about me. That's what we've got to get to. That's where the money is. The money is there. So, you know, the rest is about deciding, you know, who's got the biggest muscles. Or which way do you measure? You know, it's anorak stuff. It's like guys beside an airport looking at the planes coming in. It's plane train spotting. It's not, it's not fun. It, nobody's interested. From your point of view, it's vital on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm an industrial engineer. I understand. You've got to get inside the detail, break down the processes, and take out the bad ones and improve them all the time. Everybody's doing that, like you say. But we're, we're here really to develop something that will sell, that people will want. So that my point is, no matter how long it takes to get out of this committee and get to the marketplace, no more than five terminals next year will get the audit done and get this standard. I don't see how we could be any quicker, right? Maybe the following year, demand shall we really get our act together and becomes popular, and there's 20 more terminals. That's 25 out of 700 container terminals in the world. 25 of 700 in two years have distinguished themselves as best in class of the 700. We now have an aristocracy. We now have a class system. We now have first class, business class economy, right? So for as long as you can be the early adopter, before we start going to 50, 100, and 200 terminals, it's the, it's the place to be. That's what we've got to get to. That's what the whole thing is about, really. So what I'd like to be able to get down to is, and I, I agree with that point, I think you have to have all this stuff in there, right? Implicitly, those KPIs have to be in there. So when the auditor comes, they can guarantee productivity, right? But what we should be really trying to understand today is what the shipper is looking for. And uh, you know, that's what we brought Steve in from the States. We're trying to get to this. You know, we're trying to get to what do Eurogate do? What are you particularly proud of at Eurogate in how you give confidence to the 3PL shipper community? What are you proud of? What, what do you think? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, because um, the audience doesn't really call for it. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I don't think that uh, my colleagues here from the terminals uh, uh, would do different or doing physically different. Uh, I mean, first of all, you mentioned quite clearly that uh, I mean the port of Hamburg in total is having a marketing capacity and its marketing tools, indicators. They don't name the KPIs yet, but they could. Mm -hmm. uh, of the port of Hamburg, so does the port of Antwerp, Rotterdam, wherever. I mean, nothing fancy. Hong Kong, Tianjin, maybe, I don't know. I haven't met the people from Yantian yet lately, but I suppose it's happening as well. So there is a marketing against, obviously, the customer's customer. And that's normal. You're talking to the 520 biggest clients in your port. If you know them, right? you should know them. Otherwise, I mean, you're in the wrong job, yeah. right? So I'm... Um, Still, I believe, first of all, I mean, <laughs> and now we have a lot of it already. Let's put it this way. Mm. And uh, we're doing a lot of activities, like you said yourself. I mean, you're doing, the, may I say, sales and marketing against your biggest customer, customer's clients, definitely. And uh, we do the same on a personal basis. But still, let's look into it. Let's see what we can find out here, whether there is some sense into it. Uh, and we can get some real indicators, KPIs to be named maybe, to give some people which are not so close in our industry <laughs> the necessary indicators. I'm still uh, interested to put it that way. Yeah. But please take it that we are, I mean, we're not starting from scratch. No, I don't think we are. It's not, it's not, we, we are not, a, I mean, in all fairness, I'm sorry, we are not in a virgin industry. Okay. And we are doing this for a couple of years already. Okay. Yeah. So. And uh, we have all learned our lessons and how we're going to sell our terminals and our ports, our region, and what's happened. So, I mean, we got our experience, I suppose, isn't it? I mean, the, 
I can tell you, competitors here, and I mean real competitors. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> there's no fancy going. So, and then, uh, but still, we like to learn. Agree. We do like to learn whether there is anything we can add up to be even better. No. You, you see, this is exactly what I, what I meant in the first place. I have no idea how you run your business. And I try to explain Maybe it. Maybe I don't even explain it. What I tried to say was, what, what we can add to your business is the ability to, to analyze and put that together into an, an indicator standard. That's the only thing that we can offer to you. Mm -hmm. And the, the key thing is the collaborative thinking that we would like to achieve. And that is the question if you would like to go for that. I mean, of course your competitors are on the table. Mm -hmm. but you are better performing than others and that may be, may be just the market advantage that you're seeking in order to demonstrate that to your customers. customers. Mm -hmm. And we could be the mean to do that. The point. This is what we, why we're here. Yeah, I got you. I mean, that, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I got exactly what you mean, but don't worry. It, 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 it I'm, just I'm, I'm willing, I'm sitting here, I mean, I was reading your demonstration you have done in Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. I was reading this and I was discussing this with Mr. Ritz and yeah. the board. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I understood the idea. Yeah, yeah don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the point is whether or not we are willing, yes, we are willing yes. to really go as far as to look into such thing. Yes. For the time being, as I indicated from the very beginning, I said, yes, we are willing to participate in developing such a thing. Mm -hmm. We promise this to you, why not? How long? And let's see how far That's we go. Okay, and then let's see how far we're going to develop those. Things. Yes. So, it's not that I'm saying, I mean, it's all nothing new and we are not going to learn out of it and so on and so on. No, 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 no that's not the point. Let's see whether or not we could agree on certain standards. Yeah certain KPIs which we feel are good to really measure the industry. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. Whether we were going to be participating in yeah. as much as giving uh, the German Charlotte the possibility to do it with us as Eurogate group, it's a different story. Would you understand? Therefore, I'm saying, I'm saying here as a, yeah. I'm, as yeah. a constructive yeah. member of the group, and I do like yeah. to be understood yeah. as such. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. to see really whether we could come to such a thing here. Mm -hmm. This is what we are interested in yeah. as Eurogate group in total. Yeah. Very Thank you. But it's Very clear. What, what happened also in the Cool Chain Association, you both participated, yeah. and uh, we got a good standard, lots of people are going yeah. after yeah. the certification, oh. but you, you need not to go after certification only because you're contributing for the standard. It's clear. No, no, I mean, we do this on RFID with a lot of other people. I mean, mm. you know that very well. I'm working with in two other groups and developing standards on a worldwide basis for whatever. That's uh, nothing fancy. So we, uh, I mean, we, we do like to participate. Clear? Yeah. We don't, do like to get this thing forward. Mm. Whether or not it ends up to really qualification uh, or your certificate, it's a different story. Yeah. But we do like to have some ideas on that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Like well, like, well, I think very, 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 very that. Yeah. So likewise, Henry. I mean, that's the way we we also in the group okay. uh, have uh, taken the position, and uh, that's clear. Uh, we we're not saying that we exactly the same point as you saying, but we are interested in understanding if this is possible. We believe it's necessary, uh, but we know that everybody believes it's necessary, but nobody knows how to do it. So. If the process is going on, we'd like to be part of that process as well. Perfect. And let me add one thing. We are sure that we cannot sell anything to you if you don't like it. Yeah, sure. Well, I know this meeting was scheduled kind of quickly, but do we, and so therefore it's not all clearly thought out. What were we trying to achieve today? Correct. And, and so yeah. what we're, we're, you know, a lot of talk about consensus, you know, yeah. are we agreeing yeah. that we're going to yeah. do this? But yeah. on the other hand, what, you know, we have one day. Out of this, comes a plan. Actually, there's already kind of a plan. There's a series of five meetings, mm -hmm. five days, and yeah. you know, and, and at least that's a thought. But a lot of that depends on what we come up with and what the idea yeah. is. Yeah. Who's at the table? Yeah. Who needs to be brought to the table? Yeah. So, I mean, is this kind of a planning session that that we take a look at how this all moves forward? Uh, what, what are we hoping to accomplish today? Okay. Right? I mean, obviously, we, we have to reach some consensus to start with. But let, let me try to, to describe it. Kieran also wanted to produce a white paper to the industry, 
and um, well, there should be some more um, uh, flesh to the points, and you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that is the reason why we try to get uh, a meeting together already now, before the white paper is going out, in order to get to get some ideas how the standard really could look like, yes. to get to get a, a brainstorming session with one of the major players of the industry of the ground, and this is um, what we should try to my mind today. So uh, I would suggest uh, that we uh, use the afternoon. Um, to get uh, in a brainstorming our ideas out, what KPIs we need, what procedures we need, what should be measured, how the benchmark should look like in order to make it a valuable instrument for the industry. I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, just maybe this will help you also understand on the... I guess you, you want to have a, a long-term view of yeah. What will be scheduled? What sort of agenda will be discussed? And uh, at least if we can get that sort of uh, agenda that also, uh, yes. in pla yes. place today, yeah. Yeah. instead of really going deep dive on, on the KPIs, I think obviously we're not going to have that answer today here. But at least if we can say, okay, uh, six weeks uh, down the road or, four, or eight weeks down the road, we will have this meeting. These are the things that we we'll look into the meeting. Uh, after that, then it will be another date, and we all put on. Uh, we all busy people. We are time poor. I'm sure that yeah. uh, some of you are more time poor than me uh, as well. But uh, I think that's that's what I'm expecting out of this meeting. Yeah. If we can have a long-term view of, of this schedule, yes, of these uh, activities, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are we going to be looking at? Those activities. Yes. Yes. When are we going to bring the shippers uh, yes. here, the yeah. carriers, and so on? Yes. I think what I appreciate is that that only terminal operators here. I think that's a good start. Mm -hmm. That's the way it should have been. Mm -hmm. uh, before we come out uh, to whoever it doesn't understand how we run terminals, you know, uh, I appreciate that, that. But I think after that, we also want to hear what all the other stakeholders have to say. So we learned a lot from uh, the Kuchen Association development uh, of the CC Kuchen Quality Indicator. Um, I think um, with this knowledge, um, we would need up to the end of this year to develop such a study. Mm -hmm. Uh, we would need some four or five hammer committees mm -hmm. in order to find out, um, uh, to hammer out the standard at the end of the day. And uh, it should be, um, well, a little bit like a trial and error working, um, like a whole life evolved. <laughs> um, I think um, we, will, we will summarize what we heard today, we will put it into the um, first draft of the standard. We will put this standard on our web page. Everybody who was here can have a look at this. We can uh, identify other people who can have access to our web page and uh, we invite for comments. And uh, then we simply go on from there. So um, that's password protected, right? Yeah, of course, password, password protected. So at, at the next stage, I, I, would, I would suggest uh, we invite uh, some very good uh, terminals around the world, like are sitting around here at this table today and uh, invite also uh, the customer of the customer in order to watch what we are doing because uh, we shouldn't do anything what they don't like yeah. because we would like to have a benefit from this and somebody who's going after certification should have a clear benefit from this and uh, he should uh, um, um, uh, develop the term in the direction which the customer of the customer and the customer likes. You have a very good relationship to your customers already, to the shipping lines, you're doing all this kind of stuff every day. Um, I worked four years as an operator for Hubbard I know exactly what you're talking about. But um, I think there are some additional things which we need to put into the standard to make it uh, a value uh, for the customer of the customer and so for the terminal industry. So I would, I would suggest let's have lunch now. And after lunch, let's do some brainstorming what should be in the agreement. And I think that maybe at the end of the day we should go back to doing the agenda. Yes. So, so the point is, on May 22nd, the Institute has moved its, we have the annual report is launched every year, we launched it to the state, but we moved it to Dusseldorf for the 22nd of May. Yeah? Because of, well, Joost and Klaus Hellman, have a, one of the major products we did was benchmarking, I told you earlier about relationship. They have agreed to launch the annual report at the 9th Annual Supply Chain Forum in Dusseldorf. And we also want to publish the white paper. The white paper, is called Hypothesis, Reasoning and Methodology for the Development of a Port Performance Indicator. Okay, so it's just a white paper which says, here's all of what we've learned aggregated about the hypothesis coming from the academic community, the reasoning coming from the, the stakeholders, and the methodology coming out of this. And we launched that in Dusseldorf on 22nd of May. And then what is officially supposed to happen is 
at the end of the press release, it will say, now that we've got here, the Institute and Commercial Law will now invite people to join formally into the committee needed to develop the standard against this. So that's the kind of stage we're at. Yes, true. So you apply to Gracie if I can, I know we want to go to lunch, but I just want to get this clear. Um, you are planning to do that there, but at the same time, you're planning to have another meeting like this to go another deep dive in the KPI so we at least can understand what are the commonalities of the terminal operators, what we agree on in terms of KPI so we can move them to the other stakeholders' KPIs. Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to do that straight after lunch, actually. Okay. Yeah, and then we can agree to that. <laughs> no, 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 the white paper won't go in. The white paper, the white paper will be just, the white paper will literally. All that white paper will set out to prove is the hypothesis coming to the academic of the reasoning and the methodology. It'll just say, we make our case for the development of the standard. We now recommend this procedure, the formal Hamburg committee. The white paper won't say we know what the standard is. The white paper will merely state the case of the need for the standard and we'll be feeding into it. But this meeting is to get us into the methodology, not the KPIs. So in other words, you may read it this way, right? There are so many different KPIs in the market that could be used. However, the methodology is firstly we'll find the right ones. It won't say which ones. It'll talk about the methodology. So, so why would we this afternoon be talking about trying to locate the KPI? Here? Because it's going to give us a very good. It's a, you're giving us a radar. You're, you're giving us the language about how we search. It's, we're not going to be. Of course, if we find something, we'll be using it, right? right? But what we're really looking at this afternoon is about the language of how the search is done. We're trying to get inside that methodology piece from that point of view. You've already done it. You, you're, you're actually doing it right through this meeting. But I, I think uh, what, what you said is it's very valid to me, and uh, I think it would uh, help to uh, get that thing forward. Mm -hmm. The KPIs and discussions about this is, for me, at this stage, a little bit too far already into the detail. I didn't like to follow your idea, where you are saying, what is our plan? Who are we going to invite to which sessions within which time frame? Good. I mean, I have the experience from other committees within you know, I mean, terminals, carriers, producers, whatever. I mean, on cranes, on RFIDs, on whatever. It, to come to such a conclusion. Obviously, maybe today we are more terminal orientated here at this meeting, okay? Fine. Now we have to enrich the audience by the either end users, the customers, the customers, or do we have to have the intermediate step together with the carriers, our real customers? Yeah. Or you know, it's not not absolutely <laughs> fair. I mean, you're not you're not in the US, you're in Europe. So uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying. So there are differences. Uh, Worldwide. So this I like to discuss, and, and maybe in the first place, and, and thereafter, if there's still time, because I think it's it's very essential yeah. to have that all together. Yeah. But really know good. what we are doing yeah. in time frame yeah. point of view, and who we're going to have participating in maybe this whole audience, as I understand it, and I fully feel like that, should be type of a tree pad meeting. I mean, you have the shippers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have the carriers and you have the terminals, yeah. which is nothing new. I mean, it's happening all over the world. Yeah. Talk to World Shipping Council, to the yeah. carriers. I mean, talk to uh, to the shippers. There are very prominent uh, associations in Europe as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I know. Uh, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. I know. And then, and all those things. So we really know what we are looking at. And <laughs> they are after. Okay, fine. Uh, exactly. I mean, is that all right? Yeah, I think that's good. That's what I was good. Good. I, I wouldn't I would even go into the details of the KPI. I mean, what, I mean when, when we had the, all these dinners uh, that you made around the world, um, Antwerp, Hong Kong, North Angeles, um, we, we already collected some ideas. And people, yes, al yes. people always um, come to, to a point where they say, okay, now we want to see some kind of proposal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how should it look like? Because yeah. it's very hard just to to to, to, to think to to to, um, to have to develop something <coughs> really new. People like to criticize something, um, but it's it's much more difficult for them to to, to say how it should uh, to, to start to start from scratch. So um, that was why we developed this um, this very first draft as a concept of how something would look like, okay. which which. Um, which is still under discussion too, yeah. you know, which 
can be discussed. And then we can go into the, uh, thereafter we can go into the, so the real detail. What we're, what we're really saying is yeah. we're, we want to examine and, 